And welcome back to this special edition of the Early Show from Iowa. I'm here with Bob Schieffer, and now we're joined by our political director, John Dickerson. Good morning, John. Good morning, Nora. Hello, Bob. So I've got a, uh, this mystery to me. Where did all these evangelical Christians go? Uh, we see in this Des Moines Register poll, I asked Michelle Bachman about it. I asked her if she thought they might all have become Democrats, and she said she was sure that was not the case. In <laughs> 2008, 60% of the turnout here uh, was the evangelical uh, Christian, the, the, the evangelical Christian vote. The register poll is now projecting that on the, the poll now only 30 percent of the vote this time will be evangelical Christian. So where are they? What happened? It, well, here's the, the speculation so far, which is in 2008, Mike Huckabee was a special case. He was an evangelical Christian. He spoke and lived the life that these evangelical Christians live. And so they came out from all corners. He appealed to homeschoolers, a whole cast of people who hadn't been involved in the caucus before. What happened on caucus night is Republicans who'd been involved in the caucuses before said, who are all these people who are here? And they were all the Huckabee voters. So he grew the pie, grew the number of voters out there. A lot of them now aren't coming out again because they don't have one candidate. And Rick Soren Santorum's having his surge, but the limit on that surge is whether people feel about him the way they felt about Huckabee. And there's a lot of evidence that they're not showing up. One last thing is that the pollster who did the Des Moines Register poll measured what it would be like if the evangelicals turned out like they did for Huckabee. Santorum would win. Santorum, because Santorum, I mean, he homeschooled his children. I mean, he's pretty much on all those issues where they all are. But I guess we do forget. Mike Huckabee was actually a minister. He was he was a reverend. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. And he had that other piece, which was the executive experience, which yeah. so people could say he's he's one of us, and he has the other piece, which is the executive experience. He knows how to do the presidency. Mm -hmm. And John, do you think this is Mitt Romney's going to win this because Iowans love him, or is he going to win it because the social and fiscal conservatives are split between Santorum, Bachman, perhaps Ron Paul, and everybody else? I, I think that it's the latter. There's likely to be a split of that other vote, and then Romney will be the one who comes out maybe on top, or they'll be bunched out at the top, and he'll be able to claim a victory because it'll be Santorum and Paul who are lesser challengers for him, in their view, than some of the other candidates who might run up against him. One interesting thing in that poll is clearly there has been a problem for Romney in Iowa. He's been at about 22, 23, 24 percent, just right across the board for months. But 78 percent of the people in this poll say they'd be okay with Mitt Romney being the nominee. So they don't necessarily have him as their first choice, but they don't have a, a terrible feeling if he becomes the nominee. It, well, that's kind of significant because it, was that the way it was in the beginning? I mean, when you have 78 percent say they like him or he'd be okay. Well, yeah, yeah. That's not, you know, they're obviously not rushing to embrace him. So you don't you want to come out of Iowa with a little bit more enthusiasm than that. But they feel better about him than they did last time around. Uh, there is still this group. It's a, uh, evangelicals, conservatives who are very distrustful of Mitt Romney. But um, again, they've gotten a little better feeling about him. And, and another key number for him is this electability question. 48% say they think he's the one who can beat Barack Obama. His closest challenger on that question, Newt Gingrich, at only 13%. So Republicans want to beat Barack Obama. And on that key question, Romney does very, very well. John, thank you so much. So it'll be a question between hearts and minds for people who are.